When the first six onset was released, Daddy and the Big Boys were the five color humans of the world, and within just a few months, our baby became the most played deck in modern. But tragically, things changed. Removal got better, and spanked creature synergy decks. But with the return decks on, we have a net load of new humans, a whopping 14 new cards for the deck. The first card is Roaming Throne. It enters as a creature type of our choice, and doubles all triggered abilities of that creature type. Humans have so many triggers. When hopeful initiate attacks a bigger creature, it triggers to get a counter. Throne can double that. Experiment 1. When a bigger creature enters, it gets a 1-1 one -one counter, but as soon as we play Throne, Experiment can get 2 counters, and even Copper Coat Vanguard, who gives Ward 1. Ward is a triggered ability, so with Throne it triggers twice, but it gets even kinkier. With the new card, Crystal Arsonist, when it enters, it turns a creature into a treasure token, or 2 if we have Throne. We also have the new card, Crusty Kellen. It can make 1 or 2 maps, at Explore, and when Kellen attacks, if the top card of a deck's a weenie, we put it in hand. But perhaps the best trigger in our deck, Adeline. When we attack, we make a token, and then special to reanimate, Act Leader to draw cards, Lieutenant to buff, and the only creature in our deck without a trigger, Thalia, who attacks on creature spells. For our last new card, Cavernous Holes, new to Pioneer at least, which stops our opponent's counters, Nefer Sideboard, two counter discover decks, we have Magistrate, and Labia, and there's Brutal Catheter for creature hate, Artifact Enchantment hate, Ward Wife and Graveyard hate, non-creature hate, and because our deck only has creatures, we have our companion Amori. How good is this deck? That's what we must find out, but first, this video is sponsored by Royal Match. Royal Match is a free-to-play match three puzzle game, where you try and get three or more of the same shape in a row. Royal Match match is unique in that it's not only free, but there are also no ads, allowing you to relax and unwind after a long and hard day at work. Each puzzle has a story to go with it. Perhaps you need to solve the puzzle to prevent King Robert from being drilled, or maybe King Robert will get blown up unless you get all the puzzles right. With over 7,000 levels, there are so many different scenarios. You can play the game alone even without internet, or play as a team and compete with your friends. To download a real match for free, you can click Daddy's link in the description below. And now it's off to the gameplay. Opening hand, no lands for a mole. And this is better, we're gonna keep. Oh, Helen. Do we play Helen or Pack Leader? I think Helen might be a little better here. Especially if they're a control deck. Opponent shocks and passes. Throw nice. A swing. Land on top. And I hope our opponent's not holding up counter because it would be really awkward for them. Can't be countered. Their opponent plays nothing and oh, field of ruin. And temporary lockdown. Wiping our board and our bums. We'll play our throne while they're tapped out. Opponent plays Naughty in our set. Digging for a march. Oh, and another throne. We'll swing at Naughty. And play another throne. They basically have board four. Let's just Hope no board wipe. Land for us. Play pack leader. We do late. And we'll put our ooze in hand. Upon digs the luge. Did they find board wipe? Oh, we'll exile pack leader. But well, they'll have to play something here or they're gonna take lethal. <laughs> they fall for it. Double war trigger for the win. Going into this one, throw down two. Oh man, opening hand. One land, but it's cavern. So we'll risk it and keep. That's not a land. We'll start with experiment. <laughs> That's land. Play Vanguard. And swing for three. And what? They pass? They must have removal. The question is do they have spot removal? Or board wipe. It might be too risky to unload here. So we'll play it safe with Cumball. Buffing our experiment. And spanking for six. And what? They take it? There must be board wipe here. Indeed. Or we'll regenerate our experiment. Cumball drains. We draw a land and enter half. Darn. We'll play out a line. And swing for three. How can our opponent recover from that? Why? Cats? They do have lifelink. Many options here. We could reanimate Vanguard with Specialist. But the bigger dick move. Play Throne. Double trigger the experiment. Swing. And double trigger Thalia. And realizing that the clap are Concedes. They were no match for Throne. We're off to good start. And now it's on the next banking. Uh oh, Karuka. They're most likely to discover deck. We'll mole in their Thalia. So we'll keep. They draw a tenant. A pawn passes. Alright, play Thalia and pass. A pawn digs for a basic and gains three life. Pass. Longer two. Play pack leader. Opponent ramps. A pawn passes again. We'll play lieutenant. And swing and draw. Ow, they bounce Thalia. That's so racist. Let's see if they have the combo. They sure do. They discover four. Copy their elephant. And every time they cast something from exile. They drain us for two. So they definitely have us. Game two it is. Going in game two is we're gonna let's roll this one. I'm two. Opening hands, balls, we'll mole. And this is okay. We'll keep. Oh, we really need labia. Valley will have to hold us over. Swing or two. On it passes. Play giant to protect. Then we'll pass. On it shocks. And takes out experiment one. Sure. No oh, more land. This is four. Play pack leader. And send it back. Oh, it passes. What a loser. Another Thalia. They clap our pack leader. Very sad. Slinger 4. Put a Morian hand and pass. A pawn passes. They're no good. More land. A pawn uses removal. Slinger 2. Play a Mori. And another Thalia. A pawn must be devastated. They shock down the 2 and play Carnosaur. They discover 5. Please hit a non creature. We find Katorius and we win. So lots of settle things in 3. Opening hand. Where's Labia? I mean, this hand's not terrible. The curve's good. So we really need Labia to run a mole. And there she is. So with only one land, we'll have to pray for another. Not a land, but Magistrate. We'll play Experiment and 
pray for land. Oh, <laughs> plenty of removal. They better have a lot more of that. No suit. No land. A pump with their hippo in hand. <laughs> There's a land. Play Libya. Play for one. No one passes. This is you. It's not like we can use it. Our opponent has removal. Go play magistrates. Opponent digs. Socks. And more removal. Dang. If they had the combo in hand or clapped, we had a line. Winger two. They are missing white. Yeah, they just play Kruga. And a land and pass. Oh, what is Libya? We'll play it. We're gonna have a line. We'll play trades. We'll make a map and pass. Seven lands. Which means they can play Virtue. Letting them reanimate on upkeep. We'll have to play with Lauren. Take out the Virtue. And swing. Opponent down to seven. And through the power of Libya, our opponent concedes. But it took us a whopping three cyborg cards to do it. Discover decks are really scary. But a clapping's a clapping now, so on the next match. Opening hand is a good curve. We're gonna keep. Land. Play experiment and pass. And Abzan. How oh, interesting. Play pack leader. And swing for two. Oh, let's might be Grease Fang. Yeah. So if they play Grease Fang here, we don't really have cyborg cards for it. They don't have it yet. So they dig for it. Tight sail. Play out of line. And we'll swing the draw. Finding out of line. Opponent trades with a token. Opponent with a chariot. And it's a tough call what to play here. Larsonist does take out the chariot. But they'll still survive this turn. As Zerp deters the seals. We'll play Throne. And swing out. We draw to make two tokens. Larsonist number two. Opponent trades with that line. Goes the three. And realizing that the no match with Throne upon can see. We're gonna show another round too. Opening hands okay, we'll keep. No hossies. They take our catheter and loose Lauren for us. We'll play initiate and pass. Opponent passes. Land. Play Vanguard. And we'll swing. Opponent fills a graveyard. They find Parkelion. But once again, no grease fang. Now there's a flagship in graveyard. And they thought sees us. Taking our specialist. Another Vanguard. We'll play it. And we'll pass. They play chariot. So we'll have to rely on loose Lauren. No initiate. Play Lauren. And as bad as this feels, we'll have to pass again. But every time we pass, is a chance for them to pop off. On digs. They swing for three. And then pass. Interesting. Experiment one. We'll play initiate. Followed by buff. We'll swing. Trading like that. We go to one. They reanimate informant. It's their last chance to find Grease Fang. Can't play white. Oh dang, they found it. But lose their own land. We got so lucky there. But we'll take it. And now it's on the next clapping. Opening hand a bit short on lands, but we'll keep. And it looks like Boros Convoke. We'll have to race our opponent. We'll experiment. They play the new warden. Tapping the buff. Oh my. Making three goblins and buffing again. We could really use the land. We'll play both initiates and swing for two. Opponent makes more weenies and a second warden. Now this one has flying and the second one's on its way. Come on, land for daddy. No! Okay, might be clapped. We're taking eight. And yep, they have us. The game two already. Oh, we're game two is going catheter and that's going to Opening hand's okay if we can draw another land. Well, let's hope this one goes better than the last one. Opponent plays warden. Another experiment for us. We'll play it. Followed by initiate to buff and getting for two. Opponent plays Robbing Inspector, make an artifact so they can buff. And they're talking one land. Oh, not a land. We'll buff our board. And not for nine. Now we have a land. A opponent puts out a chumper. So ping our lieutenant. And make three goblins. No, lock it on. Buffing all their tap creatures. And there's a land. So we play Eidolon and there's a concede. So game three it is. Opening hand with catheter. So we're going to keep. Warden again. And experiment for us. No, poor devil to ping. And giant killer to tap. How interesting. It's a hard call between pack leader and Kellen. Helen's more interesting. Robbing Inspector. Buffing Warden. And making three goblins. Buffing Warden again. We're up against the wall here. So we'll play Catheter. In Warden. And Swing. Funny out of line. Pack opponent. Oh boy, Recruiter. Buffing their board and giving haste. Fifteen or and a half to block. So unfortunate. And even with three blockers. We'll still take lethal here. So our opponent has us. So tragic. But he who spanks must be prepared to be spanked. That's how it goes sometimes. And now it's on the next clapping. Opening hand. Nothing too special. But that special, so we're gonna keep. Oh, Kellen. We'll go with Pack Leader here. Opponent plays being Hawk. Wrong a card. Let's say you like a common handy. Play out of line. And fist for four. Opponent passes. Oh, Lieutenant. We'll go with Copper Coat. They play Leyland Binding, drawing a card in the process. But our panties are not their playground. Let's say you responds. So Adeline says. And our opponent prays. They go to two. Uh oh. Sanction event. Wiping everything with Adeline. Oh, and pain to the Cox. Taking our Adeline. But we have another. We'll hold on to it though. Instead, make a map. And play pack leader. I play that person. Exiling pack leader. And land for us. Play Helen. And lieutenant. What shall our opponent do now? Calm math. Playing a land to gain four life. Making four mana. They play Glyph Weaver. I can save the board. And Boreon. This is most troubling. We use our map token. Graveyard lieutenant. Play specialist. They reanimate lieutenant. We'll swing with Helen. Putting Larsonist. Opponent takes it. Down to one. Oh my. Titan of industry. They gain five life and make a token. And gain four more life. The problem is if we turn the Titan into 
treasure. The warrior on it on their turn to blank. So this play out of line. Clench and pass. A opponent plays on a boss system. Gaining core life. And also our yep, they have us. Oh, we have them at one life. We're gonna kill from the round two. Opening hand the curse to Sanky. We're in a mole. Oh, this is just a Sanky. So we'll try it. Four land. Playing Vanguard. Our opponents are also being cock. Oh good, more land. Play out of line. And fist of four. Skyclave. Alright, taking Vanguard. Four land. Play throne. Two out of line triggers. A opponent goes down the five. Play fable. And if we can just draw something here that's not balls, sure we'll take it. Up our board. Double triggers. What's your opponent do about this? They accept the fate. So we'll have to battle out in game three. Opening hand is tempting. Seems a little too risky. We'll mole. And lose Lauren's pretty good. We'll keep this. We draw Larcenus. They ramp with Haven. We draw with Seiju. And we'll definitely play Thalia here. We draw Kellen. Swinger two. And put out Luz Lauren. Oh, rending volley. We take out their Haven but lose Thalia. More ramping. And more land for us. We'll play Vanguard. Oh, rending volley. Swing for two. And play Crusty Kellen. Oh, I was horn. Shutting off all our ETBs. Unless our opponent draws nothing. We really can't get around Delish. We might as well play Larcenist. And we'll pass. I have autism. Two triggers for them. They will our opponents. We'll say to their fable. Experiment one. Swing for two. Play experiment. And put a Morgan hand. A opponent with Morgan in hand. We take four. And there be Morgan. I gain more life. And yep, they have us. If it weren't for Elish, we certainly would have clapped. So, three to overall. It is a tough meta game for creature decks. And it's a hard call. Whether or not Collective Company is better than Throne. But Daddy thought Throne was pretty sick. I hope you enjoyed the deck as much as Daddy did. If you would like to download a real match, the link is in the description below. And clicking it supports Daddy. And until next time, send me a pick.